Hey everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Tea. Tea here again. Um, I've been sick for like a week or so. Um, I'd wake up in the morning and both eyes would be matted shut with the crunchy, sleepy shit. I think it was the allergies and it turned off really cold here last week. And, you know, trying to make my decrepit way to the bathroom in the mornings with being blind was not cool. Um, I need a haircut. I'm all fuzzy. I got my little sort of ponytail thing going on because we're outside. We're trying to put our pool up for the season. Um, and it's kind of been disastrous. But um, I wanted to let you know that I hadn't forgot about you. And there was... A lot of crap I wanted to talk about but the subjects just tend to fucking piss me off and I really don't want to put out a bunch of negative rants I guess that's what I'm gonna call them um, so I'm gonna throw those to the back burner and try to work up a, some more stuff for the future um, again you know suggestions anything topics you want to be discussed or to hear my you know opinion on but I did read something on Facebook yesterday that was kind of interesting it was a little meme um, and it said opinions are the easiest thing because you don't have to have you know factual evidence or you know any kind of responsibility um, that is kind of a strange topic because I do believe you need facts to back up, you know, when you're having a um, discussion or, you know, if you have a very strong opinion about something and you're trying to convince the other person that you are correct then I do believe you need facts and you need to take responsibility for the shit that comes out of your mouth um, because you can hurt somebody's feelings or disrespect them and not mean to but to me you know if I'm wrong I'm fucking gonna tell you I'm wrong you know I was in the wrong my bad I'm sorry you know I didn't mean for it to come across that way this is what I was trying to say you know but not a lot of people out in the world are like that. They, well, we was putting up the pool yesterday. I made a statement to my cousin. I was like, you know what? I really hope my kid doesn't have children. And she was like, why? Don't you want to be a grandparent? It doesn't matter to me. I want my kid to be happy. If they want kids, then great. If they don't, great. I'm not one of those people that are pushing, you know, make me a grandma, make me a grandma. But I was like, because this world is just everybody in the children's generation, with an ex exception of a handful, have the, I'm entitled to, give me, give me, give me, I want, want, want. They don't want to have to earn anything. They want everything given to them. And, you know... I'm glad I can't have kids anymore because I wouldn't want to have a child that would have to grow up in that future, you know? Um, I'm sure my parents felt that way with my generation because, you know, we were so different from them and I'm, but it just, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. It just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Time out. Need a drink. And that makes me really worry about the future of this world because there is so much bitterness and hatefulness and people being unkind and, you know, expecting everything handed to them without earning or working for it. Um, because I think when you, you know, earn something you appreciate it more than if it's just given to you because you knew you know what it takes to achieve that um 
like when I got my first job. I was young because back then, you know, you could work when you were that young. But um, it was, it meant so much more to me and taught me the value of money when I had to work for that money. Then I learned how to plan and buy stuff and budget and, I mean, people nowadays just think, you know, money fucking grows on trees and they ought to just be handed it to them for doing mediocre or lackluster or no job at all. And I don't think that's the way it should be. I think work ethics and moral ethics, you know, ethics in general are lacking in a lot of today's society. Um, I don't try to make anybody live by my ethics because they are mine. They are for me. Like, I mean, I have to be on a schedule. I have a strict schedule or my life, my body, my mental health does not work right. And people are like, you just need to loosen up. You need to be, you know, more spontaneous. Well, you know what? I used to be spontaneous and, you know, I did a lot of fucking stupid shit. Um, but now, my schedule, my whatever works for me. I'm not trying to get people to live by my schedule, my rules, whatever. But I live by them because I have to. Um, like, you know, I have to take a medicine every day at the same time. And they're like, can't you just, you know, let it go for a little bit? No, I can't. And I have a schedule in the morning. I like to, you know, get my coffee and I come sit outside and I'll drink my coffee and I'll smoke and I'll just scroll through Facebook or whatever. And I don't want anybody fucking talking to me. I don't want anybody fucking looking at me until I speak first. That's just me. I'm not a morning person. I You don't talk to me before coffee and you don't get between me and the coffee pot because I do tend to yell. You know, people around here know that and so they just, you know, avoid me. And they're like, well, you know, you're choosing not to be a morning person. No, I'm choosing to have a quiet morning. And, you know, that is part of my schedule. If that gets interrupted, I get, you know, bitchy. But anyway, off topic, um, what are your thoughts? What are your concerns for future generations in this world? Do you think we are lacking um, self-responsibility or morals or work ethics or what? I would love to see your comments either here or on Facebook and just shoot me some ideas and if you want to be anonymous you know message the page and I will keep you completely anonymous but until next time be good to others but especially be good to you see you next time